there is um, something in the ITU that is called the Child Online Protection Working Group. It's um, f the head of the group is Egypt. Uh, the U.S., Malaysia, and Telecom Italia are the co-chairs. And we were asked by the Egyptian government to uh, participate as the vice chair, specifically. They came to the State Department and said, could um, you help as the U.S. government participate because we need some help ensuring that things, uh, work being done around the world isn't duplicated, like all the good work FOSI's doing or the child predation issues and what Verizon's doing as a company, that there isn't a duplication of efforts, a top-down sort of mandate coming out of the IT, which many countries take seriously, that would say, you should make sure that Verizon does X, Y, Z as a company, more of an operational issue, filtering. If you talk to some countries, they say, how do you protect children online? I was teaching a class on Monday. Iraq told me, we filter. And I thought, oh, geez, okay. <laughs> you know, excellent, so you filter all content. We also <laughs> want to make sure that there's free, free flow of information. Major occupation for the State Department, obviously for NTIA um, as well, and some of the work that we're doing. Um, Egypt is a super chair to have because of uh, Madame Mubarak's role as a first lady with her cyber peace initiative. You should check out the website if you haven't seen it. They're doing an enormous amount of work. Egypt is a key country because it has a foot in um, the Middle East and a foot in Africa. They can speak to both sort of communities to a certain degree. And they also help us with critical people in the Middle East because sometimes we often have sort of that knee-jerk reaction of stop the content, stop the this, stop the that, and religious issues. So you don't want to start encouraging the filtering of information just in order to, to protect children online.